Now God says, a president that I will bring into the White House. And they will say, he is ungodly. He does not know God. But ah, ah. Even as Jesus disguised himself for the great feast, so I have disguised this man's heart. And when he comes to the White House, not only shall he be mine, but he shall pray as a man that has never prayed in the White House. Is anybody excited about this? That same man, that same man says the Spirit of God shall put his feet onto this platform. And God says, they will say, how did this take place? Laws shall change. Young men and young women shall have access into the kingdom and with authority into politics and with authority into the industries that now have been controlled by darkness because of this man that shall rule for another two terms. For two terms, God said, do not fear. For the Lord says there will be no unnecessary, unnecessary stuff, but there will be things that men shall question. Fear not, for you shall sit in that seat and suddenly my spirit shall come upon him and baptize him with a fire and with anointing, says the Spirit of the Lord. Come on! No more war. No more war. No more war. Time of war has gone. Peace shall reign the streets as they have, but not like before. Listen to me. The time of war has gone. The time for peace has come. I will walk in your streets again. And the house they call white shall receive a man. Thank you. 